In this video, I'm going to go over the many features of Fuser's cinematic mode. To access cinematic mode, go to camera settings and screenshot and camera controls. And then we have our cinematic mode. This is broken up into three sections. We have our viewport where we navigate our video. This is using the free camera controls, the WASD. Over here we have our settings tabs where we change what we want to see and what we don't want to see, also the time of day and the weather, which I'll go over these a little bit later. And down here we have our film strip where we edit our movie. It looks like we had a couple of nodes taken from before. I'm going to start a fresh project that's going to delete all the nodes that were on there and start from fresh. Okay. Now that we're fresh, uh, each one of these nodes is broken up into a different time. And right now the set is uh, one second intervals. So if I take a node on this first, first node right here using this little camera guy, it takes a snapshot of where my camera position is. And this is current time zero. So I'm going to go three over and that should be three seconds. I'm going to move my camera to right about here and I'm going to take another node. As you see current time three seconds. So we'll take three seconds to go from this frame to this frame. And we have a blue arrow down here. If we grab that we can actually scrub through the film and see the transition. Fuser calculates the camera position and transition, the rotation, position, and any settings that you may set or change between nodes, it will interpolate that. So from here, we're just going to zoom in a little bit to this door, and we'll show you how to open the door in cinematic mode. I'm going to move a few nodes over, so this should be time frame 6, and I'm going to take that node say six seconds and on the very next node I'm going to take another or open this door by right clicking and take another snapshot so from here to here that door should open I'm gonna go a few nodes over and just zoom right in and take another one. And now I'm going to preview what I have so far. So it should transition to in between the trees, to the door, and it opens. We go through the door and now we're by our staircase. So now I'm going to show you uh, the time of day and how that transitions. I'm going to go four seconds past this, so it should be 14 seconds, and I'm going to change the time of day to night and take my node. Now I'm just going to scrub through to show you that transition. The time of day changes from about 10 o'clock on this node to about 9 o'clock in the evening on this node. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a cut node which is going to uh, simulate a straight cut from this scene to the next scene that we're going to film. And to do that, I'm going to go to the very next node, and right here next to the little camera is a cut node button. And if I click that, it's going to give this image split into two nodes. So we want to click on this node right here, and we're going to navigate to a different portion of our project. This looks good right here. And we're just going to retake that node. And now we have the two different nodes in one node. And that's going to provide our straight cut. I'm going to add a few more nodes so you can see the straight cut transition. So I'm going to go to nodes over and go to right about here. And I'm going to change the weather on this node so that it's raining. Now I'm going to play from here, show you that time of day transition, and then once that's done, it's going to do a straight cut, and it's going to start to rain. 
Now this transition was kind of short. I want it to be a little bit longer. So I can do that by clicking on this node, holding it down and dragging it to wherever I want to put it. So I just want it to be a couple seconds longer, so I'm going to move it over one, two seconds. Now that transition is going to be longer. I like the way that looks. Now I'm going to go over the uh, visibility. And when I do that, I'm actually going to go to two nodes over. I'm going to turn off the rain and go back to daytime. Okay. Now that will quickly turn off the rain and go to around 9 o'clock. So from here, I'm going to go two frames or two nodes over, and I'm going to go to the visibility tab, and I'm going to turn some stuff off. I'm going to turn off the walls, and I'm going to turn off uh, my structural framing. Then I'm going to take my node. I'm going to move three seconds down. I'm going to zoom around, rotate around the building here and I'm going to add some color to the pipes and make them red and my ducts I'm going to make those green and I'm going to take my node and now I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to take another node right there. Now I'm going to watch that transition happen. Rain goes away, sun comes out, and now my geometry is disappearing, it's getting colorized, and it goes loops around. So that's good. I like the way that that turned out. And now I'm going to show the section box tool. And we're going to actually use the uh, composite cut planes so I'm going to go to the very next frame. I'm actually going to turn on the rest of my stuff. I will keep those keep those colored. Bring my walls and my structural framing back. And now I'm going to make a cut. And I'm going to make this cut back here and I'll show you why in just a second. So that gets rid of everything below that. And I'm going to take that node. Now I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to retake that node right there. I like that angle better. Now I'm going to go four seconds in. And I'm going to go back to my section tools. And I'm going to edit this selection. I'm going to bring that all the way until it starts deleting information. Until right about there. zoom out just a little bit and I'll take that node. Now when I scrub I'll apply my changes you'll see that section cut take away the information. 